Hi, in this video we will learn how to draw contour lines using Surfer software. So, let's start. First of all, open Surfer software. It's a small software which is easily available on Google. So, in this window, click on New Plot. So, there are three windows. In the first window, there will be contents. In the second window, there will be properties of the contents. While in the third window, we will see the map. So, let's start. To draw contour lines, you must have an Excel file in which the data of the contours is available. Uh, for contours, we need the longitude data, the latitude data, and the elevation. So, here are three uh, columns. Here we have data this contour data in this data you can see that these are the uh, x-axis data that is the longitude data while in the second column we have the latitude data and in the third column we have the elevation of these coordinates in the fourth column you can see that we have given uh, station names to each point Right, the other points are just NSL natural surface level. So uh, this data has been transferred from total station, and uh, this data can be transferred using different softwares such as transit software, data transfer, etc. So all you have to do is to transfer the data from total station uh, and save that data in, in an Excel file. Now, for surface software, you will need that file. So let's start. Go to grid data and select the Kriging method and browse for the file. Here we go to contour data and select that Excel file. Open that file. Now you can see that in the X column we have in the column A we have data of X axis. In the column B we have data of Y axis. That is the latitude while in the third column we have the elevation data. So you just click finish. Now you can see that a grid file will be created and uh, you will be asked whether you want to save that grid file. So yes we want to save that grid file because that file will be used later on. So I click OK. Save this file in the same folder. Now you can see that the contour lines have been drawn. Now I want to add the color scale and uh, longitudinal uh, horizontal scale and a vertical scale. So click on this map. Now you can see that the properties of this map. So you go to levels and you can see that the contour interval in this map is 10 feet. So you can change this interval. If I want to change it to 5 feet interval, you will see that the line will become congested. Here you can see. Click on the map. Okay. Now go to levels and select a color scale. So I want to fill the contours. So you can see that the contours have been filled. I want to give it. A definite color so select rainbow now you can see that the color of these contours are changed so this is the elevation the red color indicates the highest elevation so you can see here so this is our vertical scale if you want to add a horizontal scale then click here and go to add to map and scale bar so you can see that a scale bar is added to this map, right? Okay. So now I want to make a 3D of this map. So all you have to do is to uncheck all these and go to 3D surface and select the grid file which you have saved in the previous step. So I choose this file and open. Now you can see that the 3D of this map has been drawn. 
so if you click on this so change the color here you can see that show scale this is the scale and if I want to show the base you can also color the base of this map ok so this is our 3d map now I want to uncheck this data and select the map right ok I change the contour from 5 to 10 ok now I want to represent that points on which data have been taken so go to posts contour and ok now you can see that these are the points on which the data has been taken or more simply we can say that these are the points on which you have taken the data from the prism and the shot has been taken with TS so these points represent those coordinates right so this is all about the contour uh, using surfer now we want to take a printout of this map so remove these post points uncheck this and simply press ctrl p here you have selected the microsoft print to pdf right or you can select your printer here but i will suggest that first you print it in pdf and then you can later on print using a specified printer so click ok and give it a name we suppose contour map I give it a name of contour map and press save so the file has been saved now you can check this file you can see that the map has been printed on pdf and you can take a printout using your specified printer thank you very much